Congratulations on buying the TIG 200S. Before we start welding with the machine, I'd like to go through all the accessories in the box. The machine comes complete with a SR26 switch and boot TIG torch. It has a knuckle joint to make welding a lot easier for the operator. It comes with an earth clamp and earth cable. It comes with an electro holder and cable, a gas hose and a bag of consumables for the TIG torch. Okay, we are now ready to connect the machine up. First of all, we'll be connecting the TIG torch up. You'll notice once again, the brass fitting goes onto the brass receptacle. Nip it up slightly with a spanner. The trigger wires go into the trigger plug. Very important with TIG welding is the earth clamp goes onto the positive side of the machine. Not the negative side, the positive side. That is extremely important with a TIG welder. The gas hose is connected to the rear end of the machine. A TIG machine needs inert gas to operate from. In this case, it's argon. It needs to be fitted to the flow meter, which is not included in the machine. The flow meter can be purchased from your local supplier. Once again, safety is an issue. For TIG rolling, it's preferable to use pig skin gloves. Obviously, you need a protective coat and a welding helmet. To set the machine, you'll notice there is a, the one switch is for TIG welding, the other switch is for arc welding. The potentiometer controls the amperage of the machine. In this particular machine, from 200 amps down to 30 amps. 